okay so if you see this first video um if you saw my last video sorry um i was talking about how this trash will clean this side up of like we're doing this for this person we're doing that for her you did this to her you did that and that side who has been consistently tried to portray themselves as this group of like avenging women they were doing that for what you did to do what they like and it was so disturbing to me especially after finding out what they do to women you know it doesn't take much to find out that obviously they use rapes to break down women and there's a lot of women being tortured by these bottom feeders it's so nasty they torture women in so disturbing ways and then try to play the fat fatal but i know real the reality of what this is about this is a program where torture uh is utilized to develop this technology if you ever think what this program does to women if you have any question go look for any target individual that is that is a female there's plenty of them you're gonna hear a lot about rapes some of them will even call out the fact there's a lot of women involved in this there's all kind of people involved in this meaning involving the torture the targeting now with me they wanted to create this fantasy they, but the technology is 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 so amazing that it has the ability to make you imagine anything you want and create a new version of reality in your mind um let's just get back to reality that this is a program that is led by these government entities they have the ability to and when i mean the ability that the, this technology they use it, are technology that are meant to manipulate your thoughts and your mind in ways that you can't even believe uh and this is how this thing is 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 is, is apply onto us it's just like make you think in ways that you know you won't think in. and it comes in no, different form i've talked about the the nasty pedophilia type of torture the stimulations but even just the ways you imagine things or they are not even just pedophilia centric but narratives of memories are changed the perceptions of memories are changed a lot of manipulations that you're like oh my gosh this is so delusional and they create that way of thinking and then make you nervous that this is a way that you should be thinking so you see what you see in front of me in the last video they were saying that they're doing it for for this person they're doing it for that um they, i just made it up a name like Brittany or let's just say stacy um uh, and so they say we're doing it for for stacy what uh uh what you did to her you know we're doing it. and i'm like first of all you guys who are you guys right of course i found out these people are torturing women and children but on top of that somebody who was involved in my targeting was like, the, at, at the moment where they said they're doing it for her he was there and on top of that he trusts something stupid that them <laughs> i care you know now it's just like you know reality of things because i know the reality of what these people do they don't care about stacy or Brittany. they don't give a damn about her but i actually kind of care in regard of like if if you think that that's how she feels let me let me send her a message i was able to find her because you know i i i, I knew her i sent this message you see what this message is about right after 11 years i'm like hey how's everything as life you know remember me it's like yeah 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 i remember you i remember this party and all that's like yeah it's, it's, like i'm just really trying to so say that I'm, i have no problem going there if i need to because i know the reality thing there's nothing i did to her that she will ever be like oh my gosh get him or whatever but if that's the case i'll easily go to her and then in my mind they try to create this fantasy because i'm like i know the reality of things you guys create your own fantasy and then pretend that you're doing it for this woman if i if if she wants me or she feels like uh, i have no problem i'll go to her right now but i know who i'm talking to so i hear this trash like oh they're gonna rape you it's like you rape women anyways you guys are frauds so i talked to to um to her and they they try to be make me imagine in her uh when i saw her the last time i and listen to if i could tell the stories of where it was you know i, I talked about this party if you see there i was at her party uh, so, uh, like 11 years ago or so at her apartment there was a guy there right 
who is a participant a participant in my targeting um he was getting married he reached out to her and said hey you know uh can you not tell my wife i was at your place and on top of that can you come to my uh reception or whatever for the wedding oh i, I forgot what event it was specifically so she comes to that place right and she knows what to not say to the wife right and she sees me there but she's with her boyfriend and i think the boyfriend was with her even when we were at the party and there was a lot of like you know th things that showed that she was really interested in me um and so i remember just seeing that in front of them and i was kind of staring at them and she kind of looked at me and she looked at me worried like looking at her, me and kind of scared and like oh my gosh if like i think that she wanted she's like please don't come and say something please don't you know like because when i was at the party you know she was quite flirty and most likely was with her boyfriend and he was there and i had no clue but she was staring at me it's like oh please don't 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 you know like she was super nervous like don't come and say anything don't say anything meaning don't, don't talk about the party and i'm just looking at her but in in my mind the way they're making me imagine it's like no 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 it's um uh, she was looking at it, it's like, oh my gosh, what he did, what you did to me, whatever. Coming up with the story, it's like, yo, they can come up with a fantasy of reality that's falsified. Because at the end of the day, reality is they work for this government entity that rapes a lot of women. So they don't even care about this woman. They just try to make you feel vilified to be like, oh yeah, no. They, they, they try to create even a psyop for themselves and a personality, a, a persona for themselves. And you hear this trash talk, are oh, you going to be raped? It's like, listen, you rape women, you torture children, you, you're in the nastiest slow life. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that this woman is living her best life for her family. You see, in reality, I will go to her immediately. Go to, go to the woman that you, that are begging for their life. Trash, I'd rather get raped every day of my life than having to do what they do. I'm here to humiliate these people the, the proper way. This trash that are contracted to do so much horrible things to women and then try to play the little feminine this femme fatale feminist when they're in this program torturing so many women do you know at this point i'm never gonna let them live the fantasy once you hear this once you watch this you watch this this, this message you see this this is me interacting with this person they say they're doing it for why did i do that because i know the reality they don't give a damn about this person they just wanted to create that fantasy in order to do what they do and try to vilify me and try to make portray themselves as, as this femme fatale when in reality they're this femme trash that are torturing women and they should be they go through their little like speech and spill and using their tone of voices to try to agitate me and they use v2k right so once you hear them talking via v2k they have the, even this persona of tonality when they talk they're supposed to agitate me now what they're doing to my body is terrible because that's what they're supposed to be doing. It's the government technology that is being developed. I'd rather die slow than do what they do. Because they are making themselves sound in, in these childlike ways to try to agitate me. Because regardless of how I'm going to be tortured and tormented, look at reality. You see this person, you're doing it for her. Really. Watch what they do to women. Listen to that. While me, I'm here talking to this person, asking her how's everything. How's it? They, apparently, this has your life. Are you like? And she's just like, yeah, I'm happy. What else? Like, because they know that the reality is these people have done so much horrible things to women. You know, there there was when I reached out to this woman after eleven years or so. There was a perp living next door. She was so mad. She started going to the rooftop high because they wanted to pretend that like we're doing it for this woman. They even said her name, Stacy. This is for Stacy. I'm like, here's Stacy. You see her? Do you guys? I will go to to wherever. I, I could even send her a message. Hey, Stacy, how's the life? Do you want to? I, do you ever like? I could easily do that, and they know that. Now listen to what they do to women, and listen to what torture they've implemented on this woman. It's foul, it's disgusting, but that's what they do. They are trash and frauds. Target individual, whatever side they present themselves, I have no problem humiliating them in every way possible.
they have been saying the nastiest things to make me be intimidated and feel like they they um they they did uh, they're you know this this is like uh, it's, it's justice and they tell me you know they, as, as a target individual what you're going to hear is a lot of repetitions right one of my the repetition is they're going to watch me being tortured they watch women being raped They torture women to the point of suicide. They watch them slowly die. And listen to what they've done to women. And they had, um, all of a sudden, I, I had been there like four or five days and the used their telephone um, so I could make airline, you know, flight because all I wanted to do was leave Chicago. And um, so I figured I'd make my plans in a hotel. I didn't think that they could hack the hotel. I was very naive back then. I didn't understand the full technology <laughs> spectrum or even um, interest, you know, and all I wanted to do was leave. So um, I was at a hotel on a relatively high floor, and they had... Um, all of a sudden, I, I had been there like four or five days, and the night before I was attacked really bad, um, I noticed a maintenance man about 10 or 11 o'clock at night messing with all of the lights up and down the hallway. And as, um, I'm sorry, I get kind of upset when I think about this because it's really messed up. Um, and my spidey sense went off and I was really kind of nervous about like what the hell he was doing out there. Cause it, 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 he was kind of a sinister, he was real creepy kind of person. So, um, so the next night, I believe it was a Friday night. I went to bed. I had all of the doors, all the locks on the door, even the, um, the, the one that kind of like goes over that you can't open from the outside. I had everything locked up, figured I was safe. Um, I went to bed maybe about one o'clock in the morning. I woke up about four thirty five o'clock in the morning, uh, bleeding out of every hole, uh, sick. Someone was in my room, um, or had been in my room. Uh, food was missing. My dogs were traumatized. Um, I had been obviously uh, sexually assaulted uh, in all the worst ways possible. I got up, first thing I did was vomit. And all I wanted to do was just, I was just in shock. Um, there was a do not disturb sign on my door. And I didn't do this. And there was um, lotion all over my bathroom floor. Um, all I wanted to do was just get on a plane and get the hell away from everybody. And I was, um, you know, very, very sick and in a lot of pain. Um, I had already been denied a rape kit when I owned my house, um, and woke up and, um, my hair had obviously been pulled out and there were earplugs in my bed and I felt like someone had done something. I went to Payless Community Hospital, um, under the directions of a, a non-compromised police officer who told me that if anything happened to go right to the hospital. So I did. And I had a compromised doctor who treated me like a third rate citizen and said she would give me an STD test and a drug test, but that doesn't, but she refused me a rape kit. And, um, so I had already been kind of traumatized with hospitals anyway. And honestly, just wanted to leave. So um, I kind I stayed in my room until about checkout. And then um, when I was downstairs waiting for my cab to come um, to take me to the airport, because I just was going to get on a plane, I had $10,000 in my pocket and just wanted to leave. Um, there was a young man who... Uh, had to have been no more than 23, 24 years old. And he comes up to me and he goes, promise you'll take me back to my room and I'll be okay. And like was mocking me. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, 
and um, kind of looked at him, and there was a girl with him, a young girl, once again, shocked by how young they were. And she was like, no, 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 no. The nature of the torture I have been experiencing has been highly sexual in nature and highly perverted, involving many combinations of sensory and motor manipulation of my mind and body and of the people around me. This includes many different types of zaps to varying degrees to the genitals, butt, anus, and the entire pelvic area. This also includes many kinds of movements, such as the rocking, swaying, jolting, vibrating, and shaking of my entire body or various body parts, specifically in a sexual way. The severe vibration is a highly noxious stimuli and is very intolerable. They sometimes do pulses or throbbing sensations on the genitals too, etc. There are also body movements such as rocking my pelvic area back and forth, repeated rubbing sensations, the sensation of something going up my crotch and in and out, etc. They also often force vaginal discharges and zap my genitals at the same time. These sexual assaults are present throughout the day, every day, and anytime I am awakened at night, every night. They range from mild to extreme, but usually involve daily and nightly continuous assaults for the past three years now. When severe, the zaps to the genitals feel as though someone is electrocuting my genitals repeatedly. I also often see highly disturbing pornographic images and videos, including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images. is highly synchronized in real time. They can see everything in military medical ex research. Um, I too believe my experience is referred to as no touch torture, utilizing defense technologies. Um, Jonathan Reno, he basically predicted all this uh, a number of years ago in his book, Un Undue Risk. Um, I'm asking you to help initiate a congressional investigation. Uh, we've all come a long way. This is what is needed. Uh, we want to have the accounts of this extreme human rights abuse that's going on in our country uh, documented and heard, all of the accounts. Uh, we also need what was done during the Clinton administration, which is a major declassification of some of these documents that are hiding what's been going on. Um, I speak for many when I say we've suffered long enough. My personal experience has been 10 years. I've been vilified. I've been ostracized. I've been tortured. I have burns on my body. I'm an American. I have rights. The answer to the question, the big question today, could it happen today? The answer is yes, it is happening today. It is happening for some of us every day. I am begging for you to help us. Thank you. Ms. Catherine Nestor. My name is Catherine Nestor and I'm from Pennsylvania. This commission has spoken of a long history of abuse of the human research subject. Although no one mentioned MKUltra today, President Clinton recently apologized for this. My young child and I have been used as non-consensual test subjects. We have been subjected to COINTEL pro-like stalking, remote neural monitoring, and electromagnetic torture resulting in psychological and physical damage. And I won't go into the details of that because I have four pages written in here that is very similar to Connie's testimony. Please do not wait 70 years to investigate this. I ask Dr. Amy Gutman to begin today. 
There is new work for the Commission for Human Subject Protection on our shores. And please give us a dramatic response, Susan. And please give us a congressional hearing. Thank you. Mrs. Marshall. Good afternoon. My name is Connie Marshall. I'm a former mayoral candidate from Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been involved in any criminal activity. I found a document in my bank account that said, problem with Kentucky government, check federal government paperwork and file before releasing information to anyone. I am an eight-year victim survivor of assaults by directed energy weapons. The torture I've experienced consists of body overheating, body extremely cold, seizures, heart pain, ear aches, itching behind eyes, burning behind eyes, swelling, headaches, involuntary movement of my limbs, exhaustion, speeding and heart racing, hair coming out by the handfuls as if I've had chemotherapy, mind paralysis, being hypnotized or placed in a trance-type state being tracked by a drone or satellite, controlled dreams, sleep deprivation, V2K, which is voice to skull, projected sound, extreme muscle spasms, and extreme muscle cramps, being made to fall down, blue circles around the pupils of my eyes, and I'm here and you can look at them if you like, low frequency noises in my home, high frequency noises in my home, sexual stimulation, numerous electrical appliances in my home are destroyed, four computers, two fax machines, seven telephones, four CD players, VCR, DVD players, electrical igniter switch on my furnace, washer and dryer, air conditioner, also my car radio, CD player, and engine were destroyed. I am watched in my home 24 hours a day and followed, followed around everywhere I go, though I do not have a criminal history. When I ran for mayor in my town, I was also attacked at debates and forums. My website is www.justiceforallcitizens.com. Thank you. And I I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Leslie Crawford. I'm here from the state of Michigan. I wanted to speak about um, biotechnology applications being utilized on my person. I have um, medical reports showing eye damage being done to my eyes. Mm. My eyes does not have a mirror image. I also have nano wiring inside my eyes. I have pictures of the actual implants from the eye doctor. Once enlarging the nano implants, you will see a copy of the actual particles in my eyes. I have CAT scans, MRIs, and PETs showing wiring, nano wiring in my head. This is my brain. It's straight from the right side to the left side of my head. I also have implants in my chin, in the chin region on both sides. One side shows a wire, the other side shows the actual implant. Implant particle devices coming down through here. Projectiles of the nanoparticles on the side of my head. Enlarged pictures. These crimes is happening in America. This is a domestic problem, not only international. The victims is not being just victimized individually. We are being victimized and our family members as well. 
gang stalking, gang stalking tactics and harassment was utilized. Leslie, I, I think your comments reinforce uh, much, much of what we've heard. And if you don't mind, I'd like to make room for others at the microphone now, since it seems uh, uh, to be reinforcing. Uh, you feel that you've been in justice? Uh, you mean as far as the Justice Department feeling me? Well, in terms of your uh, uh, being a victim. You mean what I'm feeling? Yeah, I, explain a little bit to me how sure. you... Uh, perceive sure. yourself well, as being... Well, I have actual photographs of burns on my body. When I went to my doctor, uh, the response was, how do I know you didn't do that to yourself? How do you even address that? I've passed two psychological evaluations. Not one, but two. The one physician said, you're mentally sound as a bell. He said, I don't have any idea what's going on with you. When I go to sleep, when I go to try to sleep, I feel like I'm being lit up like a Christmas tree. I feel every cell in my body just bouncing out of my body. I can't even describe it. I get uh, electric shock of my rectum. I get electric shock of my nose. I've woken up with burns on the end of my tongue. I've had burns on the palms of both of my hands. I vibrate. I vibrate. I can barely hold a piece of paper without quivering. Does that answer your question? I'm trying to find what's the source of the... The source are these exotic weapons. They talk about in 2970, that if you would pass it, it might give other communities the courage to do the same thing and show our defense department we are not the enemy. We are not to be attacked. We are not terrorists. Most of us are defenseless women. They sent me to the mental ward because they said, I did this to myself. Oh, it never hurt me. I have been a victim since 2007. You can't see this. Life has been destroyed in every possible way, and every day has been a struggle for me. I am very grateful to be before you today due to Amy Anderson's due diligence and to everyone else involved. Uh, I thank you, council members, for giving us targeted individuals a chance to speak and to be heard. And I pray. And I am a victim of organized stalking, electronic harassment, microwave torture, B2K abuse, and I'm asking you to help us end this crime against humanity, which has impacted men, women, children all around the world. Hi, I'm Wan from Malaysia. My family are targeted individuals. We are victims of cyber torture. And I will not give up. I will fight to the end. And I'm a victim of organized uh, We stalking, need this to stop. Electronic That's harassment. It. And I'm speaking to you on International Targeted Individual Day. I live in the U.S., in Illinois. And I'm a victim of organized stalking. Uh, we need stalking, this to stop. Electronic That's harassment. It. Microwave torture. I've been a targeted for nine years. 24-7. Please become more aware of this crime and those that the crime is being committed against. We need your support and help in ending this crime. Hello, my name is Wendy Brown. I'm a targeted individual who is living in New Zealand, but my targeting began in California 
I'm an American citizen, and the target being continues in New Zealand. I'm making this video in um, remembrance of Targeted Individual Day, our third annual Targeted Individual Day. And I'm asking that every honest-hearted human being open their eyes to a crime. My name is Jeanette. I am 56 years old and I live in Baltimore, Maryland. I am a victim of covert electronic harassment and torture. I am a targeted individual. Why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. It's brutally painful. I have a house, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, first floor, second floor, two garage, backyard, land, everything. Can't live in my house. My neighbors are shooting direct energy weapons through my house. I hold my heart like this. You know why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. Come get me. Oh, Lord. Because I think I'm dying. I'm making this video for... In an attempt to expose this horrific nightmare. Hello. I'm making this video to honor the third annual Targeted Individual Day. That's August 29th, 2020. My name is Linda Marie Sharp in Mendocino County, California, United States. I am a targeted person and have been for over 12 years. I am electronically tortured by directed energy weapons. Hi, my name is Lisa Davis and I'm in Duluth, Minnesota. I am a targeted individual. I am currently a speech language pathologist working in private practice with young children. I had a seven year old client who has autism and she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic and they used her to threaten the most torture in me as and have had a decent often see highly disturbing pornographic images and videos including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images I can be free from this torture every day has been a miracle of survival I also experience what is referred to as malodorance. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture. Occasion, I was told I was gonna to be shot in the face and it was an older guy. He was like really, really disgruntled and pissed off. Yeah, she's gonna be shot in the face. You know, sound like an angry ass old person. You know, then a couple of days later, a female said the same thing. Gonna get shot in the face. You know, stupid shit like that. But what I really noticed is with the voice of skull, it's a bunch of females. You know, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> really? You're not a woman. What? What I said, playing with my dog. Now that attack will continue, I don't let them get me. Today, they continue with the programming of perversion, but this time they are aiming in the use. A people, better said young people, also children. 